Nick, you're running for governor? Yes, sir. 2022? Yes, I am. Tell me uh, quickly, what can you do for the Californians that are suffering right now? Well, give them some independence. Right now, the people of California are feeling like they're subordinates to the state, and we shouldn't feel that way when we, the people, are the ones that give them their power, uh, their authority. So I want to make sure that we are reversing the trend of um, taking, out the conver uh, taking out voters of the conversation, taking out the people of California. California from making some of the choices that these bureaucratic leaders in office are doing, um, like Gavin Newsom and his auntie Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, well, here's a question. We have a BLM movement going on in California yes. um, and around the cross country. What are your feelings behind that movement and what would you do about that if they started destroying another section of California? Absolutely. Well, I believe the people of um, California need to be heard right now, as I said before, and, and including those people. And we shouldn't be ignoring their, their protests and their call to action, which is to say they want criminal justice reform, which they definitely deserve. And we the people deserve as well, especially taxpayers, for funding for every time a uh, police officer shoots and kills someone and then we're paying for the lawsuit. That comes out of our pockets. It should come out of the po uh, um, police officers' pockets. That's what I'm proposing to do is add um, uh, uh, actual, um, forgive me, uh, insurance policies for all officers. And <laughs> no, but, not but not, and also, not to fund the police. Is that what you're you don't, No, not at all. Just, again, focus where we can use that funding more effectively. For instance, with AB 392, that was a bill that was passed here in the state of California to reduce the amount of excessive force used by officers. That was completed, completely gutted by the Democratic leadership. And um, as a Republican, I, would, I am uh, reintroducing that legislation to um, the state of California legislators in its entirety with the Yes California Kell Exit movement. Are you a uh, Second Amendment guy? I sure am. Okay. Two way. Period. All okay. right. <laughs> no compromise, and I will be um, nullifying any and all unconstitutional gun laws in the state. Okay. So we would be able to carry. Constitutionally carry. Okay. Well, because that's what we're hoping for here. Yes, indeed. Um, what about um, as far as your you, your running mate is Major Major? I forget his name. He's running against you, I guess. Right. Okay. Um, oh, you didn't know that. Um, I'm aware of a few candidates running, you know, but um, I do my best to focus on my own efforts, you know, and uh, making sure that more people of California know what I'm attempting to do. I was the 2018 Libertarian candidate for California governor, and I was completely ignored then. Um, I believe that had more people of the state heard what I was, uh, or heard what I'm offering to attempt to do for the people, um, I probably would be governor. Okay, and uh, for 2020, the president election, who are you voting for? <laughs> I'm voting for Joe Jorgensen, the libertarian candidate for president. I bust your bubble. I, I right. know Trump is going to win, but I have to stand by my principles, and I am a libertarian, so I will be voting for the libertarian candidate. <laughs>